You don't want masculine women, combative women, women who are gonna fight you for power. Like, bitch, this is not no power struggle. Like, there's no struggle in power. I got all the power right here in me. Elsewhere. YouTube, what it do? It's your homie, the one and only. Welcome to the Play Map Positions Arena, where we learn about the game yourself, and that's seductive Selena. You dig? Okay, none of that bullshit's out the way. Let's get into the program for the day. Bitch, you don't think for me? Now, a lot of y'all niggas got the game fucked up. They got the game fucked up worse than these bitches. But that's cool though. This is why you're here. Let me put you on game. Let me put this bug in your ear. As a man, a logical thinking man. Logically speaking, it doesn't make sense to allow emotional person to dictate and think for the relationship. Let me tell you what I mean. So, I know this girl, right? And it's not just one girl. I know a lot of girls like this, but specifically I'm talking about this one girl. I know this girl, right? I swear she's bipolar. Like there's, there's gotta be something wrong with her. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's my fault. Maybe, you know, I gave her that demon dig in. You know what I'm saying? She turned into a demon, you know? You know like how when vampires bite a vampire, when a vampire bites somebody, it turns into a vampire? Maybe I gave her that demon dig and she turned into a demon. I don't know. But here we go. So this bitch, you know what I'm saying? One minute she mad at me, she hate me. She's saying, I don't give her enough attention. I don't, I don't talk to her enough, you know what I'm saying? This and that, this and that. Next minute, you know what I'm saying? It could be 30 minutes later. She hugging all on me. Give me a hug, Romello. You know what I'm saying? Laying all on me, you know what I'm saying? Put her face all on my face. Like, trying to put me in a headlock, trying to give me a hug, you know what I'm saying? Putting me in fucking arm bars so I can fucking put my arms around her, you know what I'm saying? Forcing me, you know what I'm saying? To be affectionate with her. But just 30 minutes ago, she was, she's acting like she didn't want me, you know what I'm saying? And then, say for instance, say if I give her a dick, you know what I'm saying? Cause that's what she wants, she's going to fuck, you know what I'm saying? So say I give her a dick, next thing you know, oh, I love you, da -da 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 -da. I love you. Like, this bitch is, and it's not, like I said, it's not just her. A lot of bitches are like this. They might not be as extreme, you know, in the polars, like all the way positive, all the way negative. They might not be those extreme, but a lot of females are like this. So yeah, I give it a dick, say if I give it a dick, you know what I'm saying? She, oh, she loves me, this and that, this and that. But why would I allow, you know, someone who is so easily influenced by external this by external things to make decisions that can be life or death. Why would I allow someone who makes decisions based off emotion in that moment allow them to make decisions that's going to affect the rest of my life? Like, it doesn't make sense to me, so I'm trying to figure out if you see how it makes sense. It don't make sense to me. Fellas, God made us logical beings for a reason. In the Bible, it says, God, man, woman, child, for a reason. There comes a time in your life, fellas, when you reach this certain level of enlightenment to where you can start to hear God. Now, this may be a little profound from a lot of you guys, but... When I mean by hear God, I'm speaking of your higher self. And this comes through meditation a lot, you know? This is how I hear God. This is how God communicates with me through meditation. 
I may ask a question or be asking a question and I can meditate and I get the answer. But the point of me bringing that up is God speaks directly through the man so the man can speak to the rest of the family. This is why it was God, man, woman, child, because God passes down the law to the man and man passes down and carries out law to the land. When you are mature enough, you don't allow your emotions to sway your decisions, especially when it comes to things you know you should be doing. Like for instance, if I wake up today and I don't feel like going to the gym, but I get paid to work out, you know what I'm saying? I get paid to go train people. Then I gotta do what I gotta do, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna allow my emotions to affect my money. I'm not gonna allow my emotions to affect what I got going on right now, you know? And this is why, men, do not let her think for you. Women should never be making decisions when it comes to relationships. Women should never be making or thinking for the relationship. I'm gonna give you these fight examples. Boom. Y'all may think this is minuscule, but this is very important. I'll give you an example. The other day I was watching Netflix with, you know what I'm saying? She wants to show you for the first time. Watch Netflix. She like, oh, can we watch this? Da, 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 da. No. You watch what I want to watch. And if you don't like it, you can leave. You know what I'm saying? It's the simple fact that you are training her to get used to following your lead. You don't want to give her an inch because then she's going to take a mile. Listen. If you allow her to make any type of decisions, she's gonna start getting comfortable with making these decisions more often. You can't, you can't allow a woman to make any type of decision when it comes to the relationship. You have to make all the decisions and she has to be comfortable with trusting your decisions. This is how you weed out women. This is how you figure out what type of woman she is. Is she's wife material or is she not? Is she wife material or is she a thought? This is how you weed women out. This is how you find out if she's really feminine. Feminine follows masculine. Like the moth follows the light, same thing. The moth is the female, the light is the male. You are the light, shine bright. Lead the way. Because when it gets darky and when it gets foggy, what you gonna say? Baby, you told me to go this way. Baby, you said it was right here. Baby, you said it was 100 feet. Now I'm stuck in quicksand and I can't see. Like, what are you gonna do? You gonna blame the bitch? No. You need to take responsibility for your own actions. You need to take responsibility for the things you are doing today. And like I said, don't allow her to make any decisions. I don't, I don't even care. Don't even allow her to make decisions when it comes to what she wears when she's with you. No, bitch, take that off. Go, go, put, that, go put that on. Don't wear no pants around me. When you come to my house, no underwear. Like, these are things, This is these are ways of training a woman. This is how you keep feminine women around you. You know, you want feminine energy around you. You don't want masculine women, combative women, women who are gonna fight you for power. Like, there's just not no power struggle. Like, there's no struggle in power. I got all the power right here in me. You feel me? I got superpowers, baby. There's no power struggle. I'm the superhero and the super villain. It's all about what side you bring out of me, baby? But like I said, fellas, 
Make the decisions, man. Make the decisions and live with those decisions.